Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to create a sales gallery with Pro Snap file and sell your photos online. So immediately we'll get started and just press sell your photos online. We'll just select a trial for now just to see you and uh, show you how to quickly get through the process. And at this point we're not going to select a Flash website, we're just going to say continue without Flash website. So I'm going to enter my details uh, including my email address and my site name. Uh, for my site name, I'm going to put in Bluebell, and uh, I'm going to put in a password, uh, an appropriate password. So I'm going to do this now. And three is, uh, I'm going to create Ireland. Okay, site name, I'm going to say is Bluebell, and my email. Put in my Yahoo email address and a password and put in my password here and I'm gonna type in uh, my site name okay and now I'm gonna press get started and from there uh, I'm ready to go and start my trial with uh, prosnapfile.com okay a little later we receive our uh, email email and uh, there we go and it has our username our password um, and what website we're using at the moment we don't we, we haven't put in a domain name we don't need to do that but this is everything we need to know to get started in the startup in this email you get some startup guides setting up your sales gallery setting up your flash website etc uh, we're going to use the setting up your sales gallery quick start guide and that provides really easy instructions on how to quickly set up our sales gallery but we'll take you through this this is uh, today uh, really quickly also, you'll see uploading photos to your sales gallery, a quick start guide in doing that. Now, immediately what we do is we go to prosnapfile.com uh, and basically I'll click the home button here just to take you back and we'll just click log in. Okay. And in the login area, you put your username and password that you've just received. Okay. Down along here, you can see it here. Username is Bluebell. Password is this. Okay. And I can immediately log into my account. Okay. And when I get in, this is what I see. We see a price list. Uh, we can manage folders, uh, orders, manage my details, uh, and uh, uh, download a Java uploader to put um, photos onto my website. So immediately I'm going to set up some products and prices. Click the price list and cl click uh, create price. Here I'm going to put in a, a couple of prices. Um, I'm going to just say uh, 20 uh, euros and the product is a 12 by 16 print. Okay. I'm not going to create that as a default uh, product uh, at the moment. So I'm going to uh, click create price and size. Now I have created other products as well and we'll see them in a second. So now create postal prices is the next thing I need to do. So if we want to post our product around the world or to specific areas, we need to specify uh, how much it costs uh, for the post and packaging so that we don't lose out in post and packaging um, uh, you know, uh, and we have to allow for that. So the country area I'm going to put in now, I'm going to put in U. S, okay for United States and the postal price I'm going to create as 10 uh, for in my case I signed up in uh, in Ireland so it's going to be euros we're going to say create postal price now I have also created other postal prices and we're going to see that in a second the next thing I'm going to do I can upgrade uh, or update my membership details I, I will need to do that so if I need to get sent um, some finance from Pro Snap file. If I sell some images, uh, I need to have a correct address and I need to update that in time. Uh, in the finance section, I can choose whether my customers pay by PayPal, not percent commission on all uh, on all sales, which is really really uh, good, uh, or WorldPay, the default system. But there is some commission on that. I'm going to stick with WorldPay at the moment, but really really soon, I'm going to take some time and set up my PayPal so that my customers can come to me, uh, and I'm going to get paid directly by them, and it's going to be a zero percent commission. Now, the next thing I do is I'm going to set up my gallery, what it looks like etc etc uh, first thing I do is gallery banner click it and upload your gallery banner so I'm gonna browse in this banner okay and we're gonna go to gallery tools and here's my banner pre 
prepared. You see that I need it by 950 by 160. And uh, I'm gonna open that, okay, and I'm gonna upload that banner. Okay, banner is uploaded. Now, previously my account looked like this. So all galleries initially look like this. So if I refresh this, okay, we'll see immediately that we've got our banner on top. Okay, that's great. It's the immediate personalization of our website. Okay, now the next thing we do is we go back and we upload our links. So we're going to put our links as I'm going to link to my website. So my website is www.bluebellphoto.ie copyright info. I'm going to say copyright 2010 uh, Bluebell Photo Studios. Okay. And the title of the page is uh, Photographic Photo Studios. And uh, we're going to say uh, County Kerry in Ireland. Okay. Put some caps on this. Okay. Okay, this is it. Okay, and we're also going to say Bluebell. Now, the web page title or the HTML title will help uh, web browsers uh, or web search engines such as Google, etc., find you. So it's really important we put in an accurate description. Bluebell Photo Studios. Okay, that's it. And we're going to update this. Update. Cool. Great. Okay, and we're going to go back. Now, again, we'll just look at what our, 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 our uh, gallery looks like at the moment. So I'm just going to refresh the page, and we're going to have a little look. Okay, so at the bottom, you see Bluebell Photo Studio is put in. And the home link, we can see that it also it links to our home page. Great. That's great. Uh, so now we have uh, our gallery partially set up with some links, um, but now there's no photos at all yet. Now, we'll finish the setup here of our gallery. Um, now we can activate search, uh, but I'm not going to do that because we're really a photo studio and we don't need people uh, to search for items. But if we were an event photographer, we'd do that. Currency setup, our default currency is euros and we're going to stick with that. We don't need to upgrade that either, but we can go to dollars or uh, sterling if we wanted to change that. Now, gallery themes, okay, we can pick a variety of different themes for the album area and the gallery area. Okay, theme one, okay, we can go for, uh, the background is black and the text is white, okay. Uh, that's perfect. So the default theme is the white theme, but I'm going to just... I'm going to I'm just going to try this, okay? Update this and we'll see what it looks like. Okay? So our gallery theme is theme 1 and we're going to just have a look at this and we're just going to refresh uh, refresh the website and see what it looks like, but maybe we won't stick with this, okay? So there we go. Immediately our our the text is white, uh, our gallery is black, but I don't think that looks great. So we're going to return to default on both album area and gallery area. So I'm going to update it. Okay, there we go. Our theme is updated and we're going to refresh the album area and that's really great. Okay, so this is the look I want and this is really, really good. Now, next thing I need to do is I need to put some photos on it and um, start selling our photos. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to go to administer home. Okay, and I'm just going to log log out, okay, and we're just going to press the home button and get back to prosnapfile.com. Now, I'm going to download my photo upload applet. This is the applet that allows photos to go directly onto my gallery and I can start selling photos, okay? So, I'm going to click it and it will immediately download and it downloads, in this case, straight onto my, ba onto my desktop and here it is here. Now, by double-clicking... You get your user ID and password. In this case, my email says, what's my user ID? Bluebell, and my password is this, okay? So we'll copy the password. I'll type in Bluebell, B-E-L-L, -L. and the password like that, and we're gonna log in and we're gonna see what happens here. Okay, accessing account, validating account. Okay, and we should be in really, really soon. Okay.
Now, we're right in, and this is our upload panel. We'll just get rid of the uh, background, okay? And we're gonna upload some photos without password protection. Uh, there is another video tutorial on how to upload photos. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. I'm just gonna call it sample. Okay, I'm not gonna put any password protection on it. And I'm going to uh, get in my folder, okay? And one second, I'm just gonna go into gallery tools. That's where I have some photos. I'm gonna put my album one online. Okay, we're gonna look at them in thumbnails. Select all the photos and I'm just gonna quickly drag and drop these photos onto my uploader. So quickly drag and drop and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna compress a little and then the files are going to start uploading. Okay, we're gonna allow for all. So you may uh, get your uh, bra uh, get your computer to remember to allow this Java uploader to work all the time. If not, just click yes, and uh, uh, your photos will uh, upload immediately. Uh, just draw your attention to image keywords. If you were an event photographer, you could at this point upload some keywords so people can find photos. So if you're uploading uh, photos from a football match, you can say the name of the football match, the day that took place, um, and all other aspects of that. Now we have uploaded the photos and that's it now our uploader stays there if we want to upload extra but we're not going to do that now I'm going to exit the um, uploader and I'm going to exit the photos I uh, have just uploaded now finally I'm going to go back to my gallery and I'm going to refresh it and I'm going to see what happens so immediately you can see the sample has been uploaded and the photos once I click them the photos are here straight in your album area Okay, now they upload really, really uh, quickly. And uh, now we're gonna select 14 images per page. If we had more, we can select up to 90 images per page. And when I place my uh, mouse over them, they appear bigger. Every single image has got, um, has got a watermark in it. Okay, so that protects your copyright, so people can't uh, readily download those images. Okay, and if we want to, we can press a slide shot. But I'm going to go back to album area, and I'm just going to have a look at what I've set up. So now we have our sales gallery all set up with our um, area able to upload photos into our album area. Uh, our links have been set up and our copyright information has been put as well uh, at the bottom. So uh, we're ready to go and start selling photos. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, I hope you enjoy ProSnapFot.com. Thank you.